This is Chicken Feet, a unique delicacy in Vietnam that has proven to be a money-making machine, earning our chef Bay Bong over $60,000 a year, which he brandishes with gold accessories. We're talking mass production. We're talking flavor explosion. All from this little snack. Stick around to see how this multi-million empire was created. As we arrive, the workshop is already bustling with activity. We meet Bay Bong themselves, entrepreneur, chef, and local internet celebrity. So, how exactly does one go from raw chicken feet to a tasty jar of boiled and pickled snack? Every other day, raw chicken feet are delivered to Bay's workshop direct from farm. The very first thing that they would do is to give the raw poultry a salt bath. Besides cleaning and sterilizing the chicken feet, it'd also help take the funky odor off the meat. Bây bóng là nấu nồi nước sôi lên thì bây bóng sẽ bỏ hành tím và củ gừng vô thì cho nó sẽ nó bắn mùi cái chim gà á cả nhà. The clean chicken feet are taken away to boil in a pot of super fragrant water. This next part is where Bay's chicken feet differ from the rest. They employ a traditional crisping technique of the Chinese Vietnamese people in Vietnam, laying the boiled feet on ice. According to them, this not only crisp up the texture and enhance the taste, but it'll also turn the chicken feet an ivory white color too. Em không có thành chụp bao quấy, không bỏ hàng the gì hết. Em bán đúng lương tâm của em nha cả nhà. Some sellers would use chemicals like hydrogen peroxide to bleach the feet white. If you compare the chemically bleached chicken feet on the left with Bay's natural chicken feet on the right, the difference is night and day. Bay doesn't use any preservatives or borax, which means his chicken feet takes on an ivory white color instead of pure white. But it's not just the boiled chicken feet that'll go into the jar. Bay also packs it alongside a special pickling sauce with a base of fish sauce and sugar. The surprising part is the sheer scale. 20 to 30 bottles of fish sauce and 25 kilograms of sugar are used up in that morning's batch alone. The sauce imparts a great deal of extra flavor to the chicken legs with its fragrant and incredibly robust tasting ingredients like chili and lemongrass. Imagine the pungent smell coming from this much fish sauce. In plastic jars with the brand sticker, the chicken feet go in alongside the pickling sauce. And sealed up tight with a special heat sealer. While every jar is more or less handmade, Bay's factory pumps out chicken feet snacks by the dozens a day. The jar is then left to marinate for two days before it's ready to eat. So how does the final dish taste? It's a flavor bomb that starts with a sweet and sour punch, followed by a spicy kick, all wrapped in the tender, slide-off-the-bone texture of perfectly prepared chicken feet. Bay offers this delicacy for around $10, a modest price considering the depth of flavor. It's no surprise these chicken feet have become so popular. But what is surprising, however, is how all this, the chicken feet, the venture, started. Tại vì hồi lúc mà em ăn cái mùi dịch á cả nhà, em bán trên mạng á, em bán được 7 triệu. Cái em xong chị Ngọc Sài Gòn Phố mới là vô kêu em là bảy bóng ơi, em cho chị xin vô quay xin một clip. Cái rồi cuối cuộc là mấy ngày sau nha, em bán ngày 50 triệu, 40 triệu, 70 triệu, 80 triệu luôn. At the height of his success, Bay famously purchased and wore over 100 tails of gold, about 3.75 kilograms. Some even flocked to Bay's presence with hopes of touching his gold chains in order to get some of his luck, catapulting them from local vendor to national talking point. But success in Vietnam can be a double-edged sword. Em bị mấy người bạn em á, mới gài cho em đi ra gặp cái con mắng cô kia, mắng cô kia hậu đồng á, cái gạt em là hai tỷ ba chứ nhiều triệu chơi buồn ngại á. As Bay's fame grew, 
So did attention from unexpected quarters. Like many Vietnamese, Bay adheres to Buddhist teachings, but also places great importance on mystical concepts, such as karma and feng shui. This spiritual belief led to an encounter with a soothsayer, a figure well regarded in Vietnam's spiritual circles. This individual managed to acquire thousands of dollars worth of Bay's jewelry and gold. Bay describes this experience as being put under a charm. But this isn't where Bay's story ends. Beaten but not broken, they're forging ahead, rebuilding his business from scratch. Orders are starting to come back in droves from longtime buyers on his online shops. And throughout the interview, Bay's phone was constantly ringing with new customers. We also saw plenty of customers driving to the shop themselves to pick up their snacks. We also reached out to the family of one such patron who has known of Bay's name and brand for years. As they unpacked their freshly delivered jar of pickled chicken feet for their evening meal, they shared with us what makes Bay's recipe truly stand out. As with chicken feet, a pig's flappy ears are probably something you'd never thought of eating, but the sweet, Pork taste mixed with chewy sinew of sliced pig's ears can be a delight if you were to give it a shot. Similar to the chicken feet, they're also put on ice to crisp up and get a nicer color. The ears are then cut up into chunks using snippers. This is to make it easier for the machine to slice up the ears into bite-sized chunks. The ears have to be sliced as thinly as possible, so the fatty flavor isn't overwhelming, and the chewiness is just right. Within this bucket alone is 50 kilograms worth of sliced pig's ears. It's basically ready to eat then. But eating pig's ears by their lonesome can get a bit boring after a while. So Bay got an idea. The pig's ears are soaked in a vinegary solution of pickled vegetables. Imagine the meaty flavor of the ears combined with an acidic tang, then crunchy texture of the vinegar-soaked slices of white radish and carrot. You can run through the jar and still ask for more. The strange fruit that Bay is trimming here are hog plums, a popular tropical fruit, and another snack offered by Bay. They'd be packed in jars similar to his chicken feet. It takes three people a full two days to prepare all the hog plums. <laughs> Who knew making chicken feet would scar you like that? Hello, cả nhà. Bảy bóng bây giờ là đi ra, <cười> đi, đi đi ra hái cốc rồi nha cả nhà. Hái cốc về nhà và bảy bóng làm chân gà nha cả nhà. Part of the hog plums was bought, but some were taken from their own little garden, which sits just beside the train track that buzz by with a roar every once in a while. The hog plums would be packaged together with a little bit of homemade shrimp paste. While incredibly pungent, the paste lends a deep umami and salty flavor to the juicy plums. Now you know why it's such a timeless snack in Vietnam. His menu was far more expansive, but for the day, we were only able to see how the kitchen made the chicken feet, the hog plums, then pig's ears. But Bay was eager to introduce all the new dishes that they now offer. Bên em là bán chân gà, lỗ tai heo và gân bò. Gân bò với lại là lạc sưởng tươi ba đời, chả cá văn gan, mắm gút, ba loại gút sườn, chè dưỡng nhan, cà na đập, cơm trái khô gà. Thì giờ em đã chi nhắn về bên là 239-50, chăn dân đang 113. All these rather simple but tasty snack has once made Bay a fortune and rocketed him to a multi-millionaire. As we leave Bay's kitchen, we're taking with us more than just the memory of an incredibly tasty snack. Bay's story is a microcosm of modern Vietnam, a place where traditional beliefs coexist with viral marketing, where ancient recipes meet entrepreneurial spirit. It's a reminder that success isn't just about the rise, but about how you handle the fall. Bay's workshop may be smaller now, but his dreams are bigger than ever. 
In each jar of chicken feet, in each new recipe he creates, there's a taste of resilience, a flavor of hope.